Hello and welcome to this video. I'm really excited to walk you through how to create cloud architecture diagrams. Now there's a lot of services you can use to create diagrams. However, I recommend using Lucidchart. So to get there, all you need is lucid.app. Enter. So it brings you to this page and now you need to create an account. So you don't have an account, sign up and we want Lucid Chart. And we're going to go for the free tier so we can edit three Lucid Chart documents, which is more than enough for us. Start free. Full name. So you can just put your name in. I'm going to put Fiomi and you can put your email. It doesn't have to be a work email. I'm just going to put um, a fake email for now and create an account. But yeah, you put in your actual email because you will need to log into this multiple times. So just give it a second to load. Perfect. So you can see it's brought us to a blank diagram and it's just going to ask us some questions. This doesn't really matter. So role, I'm just going to choose IT, role description, individual contributor, novice, new user, click next. Uh, I'm just going to click flowchart again because we have to. So I'm just getting through that. Perfect. So you can, you know, learn the basics and things like that, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dive in. Interested in getting your first cloud job? If you answered yes, then I have a free guide just for you. This free guide walks you through a proven step-by-step -step process to help you get that first cloud job. It walks you through the three simple steps you can take today to make yourself highly employable. The link is in the description below. So make sure you download it now if you're interested. All right, let's get back to the show. We can see here, this is the name of our page. And if we hover over this, you can see it's back to documents. So I'm just gonna right click, or actually I'm just gonna click here. So this is gonna take us to our sort of document and folder structure. So you can uh, new from templates, so you can create new. Um, sorry, if I just go back and documents. So it can create new from template, new lucid chart document, I, or you could create a new folder as well. Let's try just new lucid chart document. So it brings us to this page and I'm just going to close these and I'm going to X out of here and I'm going to save this. So let's save this as a WS projects. Perfect. And just click out. And so now let's actually get to drawing some diagrams. The first thing we need to do is in this search bar, you can type in AWS and you can see you get uh, different options of things. So you can type in EC2 and you get uh, sort of EC2 diagrams and, and uh, options. So let's, let's create a simple architecture. So we're going to start with AWS account. So that's what we want. We want to create an account sort of container. Actually, I'm not a big fan of this one. So we'll put, let's just see AWS cloud. Let's find a better one. I kind of, I prefer this one because it has the cloud symbol. I'm just going to quit that. And next we want to show, uh, so usually in an AWS account, we want regions. So if we put AWS region, okay, let's remove the AWS and just type in region. So you can see you have region here. So again, you can then drag this. So the region is in the cloud and you can then, like if you double click on the words, you can, you can write. So for example, brackets and let's say EU West one as the region next let's say we want to add some a public subnet so we can type in public subnet and here we go we've got a public subnet and drag that and manipulate the size and let's say we want a private subnet as well so private subnet here we go you can see it's really intuitive it's quite quite straightforward and so you can see now we've built AWS public and private subnets. So let's say we want to add a load balancer. So all we have to do, like you've guessed it, application load balancer. 
and we can use this so put that in the public subnet and again if you want to rename it you just double click and you can change the words here and let's say we have an ec2 in the private subnet so you know there's different ways we can represent that so you can just put an ec2 here but let's say we had an ec2 instance that had like um and you want to see what applications were in there so let me just close this other one so you can have this ec2 instance and let me just reduce it and then inside you can double click and that adds a text so you can say you know app one database one that kind of thing so you can then have um let me increase the size of this You can then sort of see what's in the EC2 instance, but for the most part, you don't need to do that. You just need to represent um, that there it, you have an EC2. So I just choose something like this EC2 instance. And let's say there's also a, a database in your private subnet. So here you type in RDS and you have different symbols. So you just choose one of them, Amazon RDS, perfect. And let's say you want to have a user, again, user. And we'll just put that here and they come into your environment using root 53. Um, I like another root 53 symbol. So, yep, I think this one's a nicer one. And then we're just gonna open up the cloud a little bit. And then let's say you want to show the flow of traffic. You can just click on users and the arrow. You drag it here. So the user goes into route 53. And also from here, you can drag here and you click on this. And again, drag here. So you can show the flow of traffic from the user through route 53 to your application load balancer to an EC2 instance in a private subnet. And let's say you want to sort of change the arrow. So you click here on the arrow and over here there's a drop down of like different lines and and things like that so this is just a really simplistic overview of how you create diagrams and you know any service you need you just search it here so for example if we want um let's say we want dynamo db dynamo db again you have the dynamo db symbol here you even have things like github here github so you can, any icon you want, you can sort of add it to your diagram. So now that you've finished uh, your diagram, let's say you want to export it as a JPEG or something. All you need to do is go on file and export. You can export it as a PDF, but most times you're going to export it as a JPEG. JPEG and you just click maybe later and cool. And then you click on download. And then you then select where you want the file to be saved and then you click save. All right. The final thing I want to show you here is the pages. So you can see down here, you have page one, you can right click rename and call it, let's say project one and you can then click here, which opens up a new page. You can call it rename project two. And then you can sort of draw new diagrams here. And so you can separate your different architecture diagrams through pages. And of course you can export by page as well. So JPEG, uh, maybe later. And you can see document pages. You can either export all of them or select individual projects to export. All right, just thought I'd show you that. I will see you in the next video. Make sure you give the video a like if you found it interesting. Why not try one of these videos? You could try that one or that one. I think this one's my favorite. No, no, um, no, this one. Watch this one. Just pick one of them. All right. See you later.